Okay, so I did a little research and uh, used some calculators and whatnot and other methods of science and asking Reddit. I kind of assumed that my power supply would be fine at 550 watts when I upgraded it last. You can go check out the video, dude. Yeah, I, g I got a new power supply unit. I got an EVGA 850. Uh, wasn't super cheap. Put it on the Micro Center credit card, dude. We're gonna get some credit score off of it. So we'll be throwing that in probably tomorrow. Yes. This is actually so many wires. This is why this box is so heavy, is all the wires. Oh, screws, good. Uh-oh, 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 my kittens found the toilet paper, hold on. I have a World of Warcraft raid later today, so I'm gonna try and get this done uh, as quickly as possible at least. This is definitely the least exciting thing about a PC build is the power supply, um, but it's extremely important. You know, you can think of the power supply like the heart that supplies the electricity to the system uh, where the processor is like the brain maybe. Thank you to everyone on Reddit who uh, told me I'm an idiot and need to upgrade. Appreciate that. From what I can tell, so it's it's a good idea to be in like the 80% efficiency range or something like that. If I calculate my build out to be 550 watts, I probably want to be uh, like roughly 20% higher than that. I went with an 850 uh, upgrading from my 550. It's probably uh, a little bit of an overkill. Most people agree that 750 is about the sweet spot, but for an extra $20, why not go for the extra 100 watts? And this will give me a little room to maybe upgrade some more powerful components just, uh, just in case. So. Let's get to it. Okay, let's slide these panels off. Pretty sure I will be needing to access the bottom of the computer as well. Here's the old bad boy, and then here is all of our cables here. I know it looks scary close to the fan, but I guarantee it's not touching. So we'll probably need to release this fan uh, to allow for room for it to come out. This is only held in by two screws anyway. Honestly, that's pretty much it. It really shouldn't be a big deal. And then I just got to plug all this stuff back in. And I'm hoping that since it's an EVG is EVGA as well, all of the little uh, ports will be in the same place. That way uh, the wires will keep their memory and I can just plug it right in. Our screws are on the back. I was expecting them to be on the bottom. But that's okay. That one wasn't, uh, what the hell is going on with that? Is that stripped? That is stripped. It's already loose. Some of this 
So my theory about them having the same ports is kind of foiled. That's uh, obviously not true. They're actually really different. Um, the new one actually has more VGA ports uh, for whatever reason. It's just more of everything. And it actually has an additional SATA, which I might be able to make use out of. I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, get this in place um, I don't know if it's super important but I like to make sure that uh, the power is off power switch just in case and I know I'm wearing gloves and I have like you know take these precautions and no not a lot of the precautions I take are super necessary from what I can tell all of these products are uh, very expensive and you know why risk it? Alright, it's a little bit of a... It's not the best fit, I'm not gonna lie, but... The power supply sags a little bit, so... I'm gonna start it by hand. And really make sure I get a couple of these in perfectly. Um, cause... My last... Power supply had a pretty stripped thread on it. Power supply is probably not going anywhere, but... Let's do it right! These don't love to get started. It's just these little holes in the, the case. So this will be a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and undo my, um, my little band here so I can manipulate these wires as I please. And we're just gonna figure out which goes where. Okay, so let's go here. Let's see, my motherboard has moved. So Mobo's gonna be on the bottom, it looks like, okay. And, oh wait, the lock is on top now? Uh-oh. So since the lock is on top, these are going to have to all flip around. Oof, that is tight. There's actually really not a whole lot that plugs into this. What the heck? And then we're just remaining with our GPU ones, which I believe go... Wait, are these power? Say to one and say to two. I hope I don't mix those up. That might cause problems. All right, so besides um, it being a different direction, kind of putting pressure and twisting all these wires on, that should be it, man. That should be all the wires plugged in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this fan back in and then I'm gonna work on... Uh... So last time they gave us little bands that look like this. Now we get these bands and they look nicer. They're thicker, so that's cool. Um, I'm just going to use that to go ahead and slap all these together sort of right at the middle. Um, I like doing it at the middle because that's kind of where the, almost where the point to the fan meets nearly, right? Probably going to take that outside and blow it off before I put it back on. I don't think that would be a good idea. Ugh. Jesus. So, there's a pretty good amount of clearance between the fan and any of the wires. So, that's, uh, that's awesome. That's all we can really ask for. And, um, we got this tied up. Uh, I think it's time to fire it up and try it out. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's see if it'll turn on. Oh, wait. There she be. Well, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to take it to the garage, use the air compressor to clean it out, and then I'm going to get it all plugged back up and I'm going to play some games. Oh, 
All right, well, with that installed, it's back to gaming. All right, it looks like with that, we are up and running. So I don't really expect to see like very many performance issues. I wasn't having any issues with the power supply before, so I don't know. But anyway, that's what it takes to keep gaming. I'll see you later, gamers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment if you have something to say or something to ask, and subscribe to see some more.